Hello, my name is Kathy Dixon. Welcome to the Math Reflective. Today I want to talk about an instructional routine called Five Practices. Stay tuned. Today is the first video in a series of videos about an instructional routine called Five Practices. I'm a sixth grade math teacher in Illinois, and I'm also a Open Up Resources 6-8 Math community coach. Illustrative Mathematics, who authored the program Open Up Resources 6-8 Math, they designed it in such a way that it has instructional routines built in every lesson. Instructional routines are repeatable, and they're specific, and they're structured to support both teacher and student. I like to think of them as teacher moves so that students can move. Instructional routines are enabling for students. It helps them to engage, to build procedural knowledge, to build fluency, apply mathematics to real world problems. The beauty of this curriculum and resource is that these routines are already embedded for us, for the teacher. They're designed for us to be able to move so that we can help students to move, to deepen their understanding, to push their thinking further. In 2011, author Smith and Stein wrote a book called Five Practices for Orchestrating Mathematical Discussions. The five practices are anticipate, monitor, sequence, select, and connect. And combining these practices with rich, rigorous tax for students will help to deepen understanding, advance your mathematical discourse in the classroom. So the five practices last year and the year before for me personally as a teacher would look like me walking around with a clipboard or sticky notes. And my co-teacher and I have already, you know, looked ahead and thought about all the different ways we've done the anticipate part. So we already know the different methods that we think students are going to use to solve a task. So we're walking around with a clipboard, we're hovering over and joining in on conversations, and we're asking students questions when there's not a lot of discourse going on. But right now, we can't be within six feet of them. We're not using paper, much of us. So how, how does it look different this year? How do we still do this five practices that's written in the resource? That's what we're gonna take a look at. One way that you could learn more about this is to join us the sixth grade community coaches for Open Up Resources 6-8 Math this Thursday, November 5th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're gonna be taking a look at five practices in distance learning with Unit 4. Please join us by going onto the Facebook group. I will put that link below. You can join through that link or it will be advertised also on Twitter. You can look for openupresources.org. Um, I will go ahead and link both of those below, but we'd love to have you join us for a free virtual PLC to learn more about five practices, even if this is your first year using the resource, second year, third year, or if you're just interested in investigating and finding out more about it. You're a teacher of mathematics, but you use a different program. Maybe this will still help to elevate the way that you deliver instruction to your own students. Maybe you already know about this, but you just want a refresher on it. Please join us. Are you ready for more?